Many people have their own ghost stories, feelings that they had been surrounded by a presence, so they couldn't really pick up who or what it could be. Um, but there are some explanations that could account for this uh, experience, per se. Have you ever felt like you were surrounded by ghosts or a ghost was in the room? All the time. Um, but that's probably, I'm just way more perceptive yeah. than the usual. I'm just, you know, a skeptic person. and I've turned myself off to it. And really, I should be in tune with the other dimension. Yeah, yeah you just kind of open yourself Spirits. up to it more. Or there are a few other options that it could be if you're not so much into the paranormal uh, as such as myself. But, uh, you know, one option is ghosts. Uh, there's another option we're going to start with right away, which is electromagnetic fields. Another word for ghosts. hey <laughs> Just saying. Um, so there was a Canadian neuroscientist named Michael Persinger who was studying the effects of electromagnetic fields on people, on people's perceptions of ghosts. Uh, he hypothesized that uh, it was not perceptible on a conscious level, but that people could feel as if there was a presence caused by uh, whatever pulses they felt through the electromagnetic fields. Um, and that had made people feel, you know, just a little bit off. Like there's something going on, but they can't really perceive what it is. But it was actually weak magnetic fields mm. uh, being, you know, maybe 15 or 30 minutes is, can is create that perception. of correlation is not causation? Because, I mean, maybe ghosts make some electromagnetic fields in their way. I'm just knows. saying there are ways to create electromagnetic fields that aren't ghostly. Uh, there's another uh, idea, which is that it's infrasound. Infrasound is a sound that's so low we can't really perceive it. So we've heard about this before. Like with certain frequencies, animals can hear maybe a whistle that we would never be able to hear. So, but that doesn't mean that we don't really perceive it. So we would be able to maybe, um, like we have some physiological discomfort. Let's say if we're near like a wind turbine or uh, other low frequency noise that can cause feelings of disorientation, uh, panic, change in heart rate, blood pressure, and, you know, these symptoms might be considered paranormal. Okay, uh, that's legit. I'll give, you, I'll give you that one. The infrasound mm -hmm. is legitimate. Or it could be ghosts. Or it could be ghosts. <laughs> uh, but one, per, uh, one engineer in particular, his name was Vic Tandy, described working in a lab and feeling depressed, uh, scared, he, he felt uncomfortable, he felt that he heard and saw odd things, but later he found out there was a 19 hertz standing wave coming from a fan nearby, which was sending out inaudible uh, vibrations that were causing these disorienting effects on them. Once he was able to uh, change his location, he felt fine, or, or ch remove the fan as well. There's another uh, way that this could happen beyond sound or, or f magnets. Mm. Uh, which is mold, toxic mold to be specific. So toxic mold can cause hallucinations, um, not very good feelings, uh, and there's a lot of it in reportedly haunted locations that might be a little bit older, a Question. little unkempt. Could these instances of mold-related toxicity possibly be giant mold monsters that are spirits I of mean, there's evil. no report that these molds aren't sentient monsters Thank you. that Thank want you. to eat people. Yeah. But there is mold listed. I, I can double check further on, mo on more uh, specific kinds of mold, be they monster or otherwise. Um, another way you could be poisoned by your environment is through carbon monoxide. And this happens in many homes. <laughs> this one was just funny. <laughs> I mean, it's not funny. You could die, and that's bad. Death is usually bad for most people. Uh, well, <laughs> come on. Yeah, it's also inevitable. But uh, through carbon monoxide, uh, we have a, the particular story of a doctor named W.H. Wilmer who told the story about a supposedly haunted house in the American Journal of Ophthalmology. Uh, the family who lived in the so-called haunted residence uh, began experiencing weird phenomena when they moved into this old house, hearing furniture moving around, strange voices, the feeling of invisible specters that they couldn't really put a finger on. Um, it was The report was that these are ghosts in the house, and it turns out the faulty furnace was the problem, uh, filling the house with deadly carbon monoxide, which caused uh, oral and visual hallucinations. Once they fixed the carbon monoxide problem, it was all good and the family was free of haunts. Well, our last explanation, our scientifically sound explanation of 
rides right on that, which is we want it to be real. Yes, I do. I really, really, <laughs> really, really do. I want them to be real, but it's unrelated. Well, I mean, people might think, it, this is kind of like the other, someone said it was real, but it's also the idea is really interesting, and it also answers a lot of questions about the afterlife and beyond that makes us feel somewhat more comfortable and happy. And I'm not just dead sitting closure. in a hole in the ground and decomposing and being eaten by worms. I won't be, because I'm getting a Viking funeral. But uh, <laughs> We're gonna send you off in a boat and shoot uh -huh, arrows uh -huh, at it? Uh -huh. Excellent. Pretty much. Um, yeah, so there's, there's many reasons why that can explain certain ghostly apparitions and feelings and uh, overcome emotions and what have you, or they're ghosts. I mean, whatever you want to believe, I, I think there's evidence on one side and not needing evidence on the other side. Exactly. So there's that. That's always fun. Audience, do you ever think that you've been visited by some kind of ghost or spectrally appearance from beyond? Was there any paranormal that you just can't explain through any of these reasons? Let us know below in the comments. And please subscribe for more spooky videos that kind of fell apart at the end.